Do you know, is there any psychological validity to daddy issues? Or so, and we, and we meant to say, <laughs> That's a good question, dude. Because I mean, someone asked me this the other day, and I and I was and I sat there going through like, like Freud's concepts, in a, and I'm like, but I don't want. I want to. I want to hear what your reaction is. Imagine a little girl, like a little toddler girl. She's growing up, and her dad's not around a lot, and he's not really there giving her love uh, for who she is. Like, ideally, all children, their parents should just adore them as, like, beautiful human beings. And then they sort of internalize, I'm lovable as a human. Yeah. Okay, but so now imagine a girl who doesn't get that, and she specifically isn't getting that from her dad. Um, and she's kind of hungry for it, and she's kind of starving for it. And then fast forward, and now she's in junior high or high school, and she discovers, oh, wow, if I wear a short skirt boys give me attention and like that feels good because i've been starved for male attention my whole childhood and i've never got it and now i can get male attention and it's pretty fucking easy to get male attention all i got to do is wear a short skirt and she discovers that when she's like 12 you know in she's eighth grade and she takes a visit to the high school and like all these high school dudes are giving her all this attention she's like whoo that feels good i'm gonna get more of that and fast forward, she becomes addicted to getting this male attention. She's like looking for a dad to love her, but she didn't get it in the way that she's supposed to. So now she's getting this love and male attention through the sexual way. And then when she's getting it in her unconscious, she's transmuting the sexual love into like fatherly love or something. I think that's, a, I think that's the fairly common, most stereotypical one. We now bring you Enter the Freud. 